Philippines, day nine, starting very similar to day eight. Woke up, sunrise at New Coast, and then went on a run. Changed it up a little bit, didn't do the Mount Lujo. Did, uh, <clears throat> just ran right to White Beach, and then ran all the White Beach, because it's literally perfect. It's perfect sand to run on. I mean, it's, everything about this beach is like literally perfect. So ran the whole beach, kept going, you guys doing some construction. And then tried to find Secret Beach, which true to its name, was tough to find. So stopped, had a coffee, had an incredible resort. I have no idea how much that place cost a night. Aya or something, it was in the northernmost point of station three. I mean, that looked real nice. And then came back about seven and a half miles in right now. All these restaurants on the beach are expensive, you know, Philippine standards. And there's this one little local spot, all you can eat, six bucks. Just had some smoked trout and eggs, coffee, and juice. It's perfect. Probably gonna run the rest of White Beach back and then take a tricycle. I don't know if I wanna do an additional mile and a half, just kind of through normal streets. Back to back, you know, close to close to 10 today, 12 yesterday, it's a lot for me. I haven't really been running. But yeah, it's gonna be a similar day. <laughs> I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna hit the gym play on the computer a little bit, research some of the South Island trip I just booked. Try the beach club at my hotel. When I'll come back into town in the afternoon, catch sunset, do a massage again. And it's gonna be a strong Borkai trip. All right, finished up the run. Got about eight, almost nine in. Great. Back to back, pretty big days for me of late. Uh, didn't run all the way back to the hotel, just got a moto taxi. Um, then what I do? I hit the gym. The gym's great. Had a nice uh, late breakfast. Came into town. Took, uh, no, I went to Puka Beach. Again, super photogenic but windier, waves choppier. I was gonna like get a kayak and play around, but like, I don't know, it was like pretty choppy and windy. So I bailed on that idea, took a tricycle into town, got a massage, good massage, probably not as good as yesterday's, but still a pretty good massage for, that one was like 10 or 11 bucks. And I jumped on TripAdvisor and found like one of the top seafood restaurants had an amazing meal. So how they do the seafood restaurants out here, at least at this place, and this is like TripAdvisor five stars, uh, you know, 450 reviews, is they have all the fish on ice out front, all fresh lobster, red snapper, white snapper, shrimp, you know, everything squid. And you, they weigh it and you buy it from that guy right there even though it's like connected to the restaurant. So you buy the fish and they take it back. And then I asked for a barbecued, which was the recommendation instead of fried. I had a red snapper. So I paid the guy for the fish a lot. It was like 13.50. I mean, that's like 25 bucks. I mean, that's kind of a lot of money to be honest with you. And then I paid another guy like 200 like four bucks three bucks to barbecue it and then 30 pesos for rice which is like under a dollar and pool party happening tomorrow sounds fun thank you um sorry you get solicited a decent amount here and uh, where was i she was beautiful um so the total was like probably 1500 it's like almost $30, but this snapper was <laughs> like, and so that's like my favorite thing to get for sushi is sea bream, which is red snapper. And this was just like 
fresh. I don't know if it was caught today or probably today. I mean, it looked incredible. I put some video of it on the ice. Hopefully I remember to put this in this video. Thank you, pal. So good. Amazing, Just yeah. Just come back here. Uh, we have, I have a collector here. Mm. Come back here if you want. Yeah, I know what it is. I found it on TripAdvisor. Yeah. Good reviews. Yo. But it was like like really good. Like I might go back for dinner and get try the white snapper. Even though it's a ton of money. I mean, it's fantastic. So now I see right here's my spot for a fresh fruit smoothie. Because they got good Wi-Fi. And it's an unbelievably good smoothie.